everybody. Good morning from Otter Tail Lake. A beautiful fall morning. It, it looks like it's going to be really nice. It was cold last night. It's been very cold up here. Uh, it was 31 when I left South Dakota this morning. And, and we're going to spend the day uh, today with Brian Hovland and Eric Osberg. Brian is a, uh, a school teacher from Underwood, school administrator. School administrator. Yeah, yeah, school administrator from Underwood and also uh, part of the Sheriff's Department and does Sheriff's patrols throughout Otter Tail County in the Correct. summertime. Correct. And then 20 years in the fire department too through Underwood. So. Awesome. So man, a civil servant his whole life. So uh, he's fished here before. I haven't. So I expect to get schooled. That's kind of the deal, <laughs> you know, and, and I'm used to it. And, and of course, a good friend of ours in the back of the boat back here, Eric Osberg. Man, I, I don't know how long I've known this cat, but it's been a long time since probably since I uh, started command up at Camp Ripley, Minnesota. And we're going to talk about otter tail country as well, because man, I'll tell you what, if you've never been out this way in Minnesota, you need to get out here. I don't care if it's spring, summer or fall, but I'm stoked to be here in the fall because I, I just think this area is phenomenal. So good morning, Eric. Good morning, Colonel. Thanks for having me. That's it. That's all we're getting out of Eric Osberg this morning. <laughs> I have never heard him say that little in my life. Eric, talk to us about Eric. What are we doing here at Otter Tail Country? Well, um, we are on one of the 1,048 lakes. My day job right now is to promote Otter Tail County as a place to visit, live, and work. We like what you guys are doing. We like the things that you guys support. And there's just so many things to, to, uh, to talk about in Otter Tail County. Like you mentioned, spring, summer, fall. I would even add winter. Ice fishing up here is great. Deer hunting is great. Duck hunting is great. If, if, you're, if you're into the outdoors, whether it's hiking, biking, fishing, shooting, whatever it is, there's something in Otter Tail County for you. Well, we're going to have fun. We're going to get out here. We're going to go look at some spots, see if we can find some fish. It's a little chilly, but we'll be fine and got a windshield. We're not dealing with, the, you know, that crazy tiller boat like Warden and all those crazy animals. But we'll be out here in this beautiful Skeeter Yamaha. Um, nice windshield, nice fall morning. One, two, three points that come mm -hmm. off. You know, car accidents are the ones that get your blood pumping a little more than anything. I was fishing on a lake that's close to myself, and I heard the crash, bang, and my phaedra goes off. I tied the boat to the dock, I hooked my trailer, took off, and it was like a half mile. And it was, it was a pretty bad call. We ended up having life flight and everything coming in, you know, and all this. An hour and a half later, I got back to the dock and my boat was still sitting at the access, idling at the dock. I forgot to shut it off, I forgot to do it. And it's just one of those things, I mean, where you're, those are life and death type situations. You try to get there as fast as you possibly can, safely, you know, and, and do things that need to be done. We want to be right on that end. See, there's a fish right there. I, I, I see the, see fish, the fish down there? there? I see that's, the fish on that's, the bottom. that's what we're after. We want to catch that fish. Well, it, it, is there any trick? Oh, did you get him? No, that was that was not efficient. There's a young guide out here that's been helping us today. His name is Randon Olson. He has been just a great help today out here. I do, I love him. Yeah, let's get a net for this one. This one might be a little bigger, whatever it is. Same I mean, nice one. Huh? 